Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to Iqra Quiz. Alhamdulillah. Um, I'm your host, Abdul Basit. And with me today, Alhamdulillah, we have two great contestants. Next to me is Safwan Kalam. Assalamu alaikum, Safwan. Wa alaikum assalam. How are you? MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Nice to have you here in our show. Alhamdulillah. And then next to Safwan, we have Anaya Kamran. How are you, Anaya? I'm fine, thank you. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. Nice to have you here as well. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Rules are very simple. Okay? The competitions, I will ask you a question, and the question will appear on the screen. Right? And you'll have four options. So obviously one answer is the correct one, and the other three are wrong. You'll choose, and if your answer is correct answer, then you'll get five. And obviously, if, you, if your answer is wrong, zero points. So whoever gets the highest score will be the winner. And you'll go to the next level, to the final, inshallah. Shall we start? Okay, inshallah. We will start, alhamdulillah. First question goes to Safwan. Safwan, your question on the screen. Which surah ends with the word masad? Would you like to have the options, Safwan? Yes, please. Okay. I will give you the options. A is Surah Nasr. Option B is Surah Lahab. Option C for you is Surah Ma'un. And option D is Surah Humaza. So you need to say which surah that ends with the word Masad. Uh, B, Surah Lahab. Surah Lahab. Yes. You say it is the B is the correct answer. Shall I love the answer for you? Can I like read the surahs like in my mind? There will be not much time. Ready? Yes, I'm correct. I'm, yeah, I think so. Yeah. You think it is B? Yeah, I'm not looking my answer. Okay, inshallah. I'm going to lock the answer for you, the B you said. This, the surah ends with word Lahab. Yeah. Oh, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Mashallah, Mashallah, Safwan. Your answer was right and you just scored five. Mashallah. Okay. Now, Anaya, ready? Yes. Okay, Inshallah. Inshallah. Anaya, question for you on the screen. Look, which surah known as the Surah to Shifa? Which surah known as the Surah to Shifa? I will give you the four options. Option A is Surah Kafirun. Option B is Surah Nasr. Option C is Surah Nas. And option D for you is Surah Fatiha. One of the surah known as Surah Shifa. Which one do you think? I think it's A. A. <coughs> surah Kafirun. Okay. If you think it is Surah Kafirun, I would love the answer for you. But before I lock the answer, you have a final chance if you want to change your mind. Surah to Shifa, which one is it? I think it might be C. C. So Surah Nas. Shall I lock the answer? Confident? 
Inshallah, Inshallah. Let me see. Let me see whether your answer was right. You said the Surah to Shifa is the Surah Nas. Uh oh. That wasn't the right answer. It was the wrong answer. It is not Surah Nas. Surah to Shifa is known as Surah Fatiha. So, Inaya, Nosko. Okay. Next question. Next question goes to Safwan again. Safwan, are you ready? Okay. Safwan, there's your question on the screen. How many brothers did Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam have? Options for you. Option A is nine. Option B is 10. Option C is 11. And option D is 12. How many brothers do you think he had? Yusuf alayhi salam. A, nine. Yes. You think he had nine brothers? Huh? Yeah. You just guessed it. Maybe, maybe your answer is right. I don't know. Maybe you are right. You think you are right. Yes. Well done. If you think so. So you say in the, that the answer A you chose that Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam had nine brothers. Let me see. Shall I lock the answer? Okay, there you go. Uh oh. Safwan, no score at the moment. Now only you have five. It was the incorrect answer. In fact, the correct answer is Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam had 11 brothers. Okay. Inaya, back to you. Inaya, ready? Yes. Okay. Maybe now you are going to score. Who knows? There's your question. How many sons Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam had? Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, the options. A, two, option B, three, option D, I mean option C is four, and option D for you is five. Two, three, four, five. How many sons Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam had? The Nuh alayhi salatu wasalam, the flood took place in the entire world. The whole world was under the flood and he had four sons. How many, how many sons, sorry? How many sons? See. Hmm? And I am? C. C. <clears throat> you think this is the right answer? Yes. Okay. If you say that he had the four answer, I mean the uh, four sons, okay, I will lock the answer for you. But before I lock it, I'll give you the final chance if you want to change your mind. No? Okay, let me see. Inaya answered C. Is it the right answer? Oh, well done. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Inaya. It is the correct answer. And you just scored five. Okay? So both, your, both of you have five, five each. Okay? Let's see how the <coughs> game goes. Next question goes to Safwan. Safwan, your question on the screen. How many Sahabas took part in the Battle of Badr? Okay. The question for this question, the options are for you. A is 313, 
B is 315, C is 317, and the D is 319. So how many Sahabas, the companion of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, were with him when the Battle of Badr took place? What do you think, how many Sahabas were there? Three hundred and fifteen. B. So you think it is the B? Yeah, three hundred and fifteen. Three hundred and fifteen. Yeah. Final answer. <coughs> huh? Yes. Okay. You say <coughs> it is three hundred and fifteen. The B. Let's check. Uh oh, Safwan. B wasn't the right answer. In fact, the Sahaba who took part in the Battle of Badr with Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, they were three hundred and thirteen. Okay. <clears throat> Next question for Inaya. Inaya, are you ready for your question? Yes. Okay, inshallah. There is your question on the screen. Your question is here. When did the Battle of Uhud take place? Would you like to have the options, please? Yes. Options are for you. <coughs> All options. Number A, 2AH, B, 3AH, C, 4AH, and the D is 5AH. AH means after Hijrah. When Prophet Sallallahu came to Medina and the battle took place, one of the battle called Uhud. So when that battle took place, is in the second year or third year or fourth year or fifth year? B. B. Yes. So third <coughs> after Hijrah, you think the battle of Uhud yes. take, huh? Yes. Positive? Yeah? <laughs> maybe you are right, maybe you are wrong, who knows? If you are right, <coughs> obviously your score, will, your score will be 10 because you have five already. Okay, let's see whether your answer is the right answer. You are saying it is the B that the third Arabian Hijri uh, the Battle of Uhud took place. Okay, let's check. Ready? Yes. Oh, mashallah, exactly, you are right. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, inaya. Another five. Mashallah, that's great. Huh? Inshallah. Okay. Now, Safwan, you you have five, and the Inaya is ten. Both of you did very good. Right? The question wasn't so hard. The question was easy, but in some questions are difficult. Right? So end of the show. Alhamdulillah. Anaya scored 10, so obviously Anaya goes through to the final and Safwan's journey ends here. But for you who are watching from home, if you would like to join this show, it's a chance for you. What you have to do, you have to email us at ikra at quiz dot tv ikra at quiz dot tv email us 
we will contact you, give your name and number. But before you do that, there's a question for you to the audience that I want to see if you can give this answer through our email. The question on the screen for the audience at home. Can a woman, can a woman visit the grave? Right? This is the question for you at home who are watching this show. You can give the answer emailing us iqra at quiz.tv inshallah. See you there. Jazakallah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.